Thomas charged the snowdrifts fiercely. Sometimes he swept them aside, sometimes they stuck fast and the men had to loosen them. But at the cutting near the cottage, they could go no further. Look at that, exclaimed Thomas's fireman. Peep, peep, peep. Here we are, whistled Thomas. An answering wave came from an upstairs window. Then they heard a familiar sound. That's Terence, said Thomas. He's come to help too. Sure enough, Terence had a snowplow and was working hard to clear a path to the railway line and safety. At long last, the rescue was complete. Percy took the tired workman home. Terence said goodbye to Mrs. Kindly and promised to take care of her cottage as he watched them all set off. The engines made good time. No more snow had fallen, but the yard was dark. Thomas's heart sank. Suddenly, all the lights went on. What a marvelous sight awaited Mrs. Kindly. Well done, said Sir Topham Hatt. I'm really proud of you all. Mrs. Kindly especially thanked the smaller engines. Thomas and Toby are all friends, she said. And now, Percy, you are my friend too. Percy was very pleased. Three cheers for Mrs. Kindly, he called. Peep, 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 they all whistled. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends thought it was the best Christmas ever. And Mrs. Kindly could think of nowhere she would rather live than here with them on the island of Sodor.